Hey everybody, what's going on? So in this video, I wanted to do a quick overview of what an MMO mouse is, some options, my recommendation, as well as some keybinds on my Druid. Before getting to the video, make sure you like it and subscribe to the channel. You can also find me streaming on Twitch as well as a link to our Discord below. So since I started playing WoW in 2005, there's only been one piece of hardware that has truly made my gameplay go to the next level, and that is an MMO mouse. I got my first MMO mouse during Legion, and I have not been able to go back since. I honestly don't know why anybody would go back after having one of these. So, what is an MMO mouse? As per the name, an MMO mouse is primarily designed, but not limited to, playing MMO games. This is mostly due to the reason that MMOs generally have a lot of buttons to be used to play the game. They offer 12 customizable macro keys on the side, which makes them ideal for these kind of games, as well as other kind of computer programs. So why would you use an MMO mouse? Well, here are my main reasons for using one. It allows you to focus on your gameplay and not have to look down at your keyboard, especially if you don't have good muscle memory. It will allow you to focus on your prime abilities on your number row, whether that's one through four, one through five or six, as well as movement, resulting in more survivability and optimal gameplay. It will give you the ability to have more keybinds that are physically easier to use within short reach of your thumb, rather than having a shift modifier, control modifier, alt, plus having to press a number on the number row all in the same hand. This will allow you to have 12 easy buttons to press and technically another 24 plus with a modifier. This will save your hand keystroke travel time and distance by having a modifier on your left hand and a very easy press on the right hand of the mouse with your thumb. This will result in less strain on your left hand and in return be physically better for you over time. The overall ergonomics are significantly better than a generic or a gaming mouse. They are usually a bit thicker and allow your palm to easily rest on it and will force you to not use a claw grip. As I said earlier, they are good for other things other than gaming. With software like Logitech, you can easily swap profiles based off the games, applications, etc. that are launched on your computer. That will allow you to change the buttons per system being used. This is greatly beneficial for things like video editing software, programming shortcuts, and overall window shortcuts. So in no particular order, here are some ones I'd recommend looking into, and links to all these will be found in the description. You have the Razer Naga Pro, the Corsair Scimitar, Logitech G600, EVGA X15, and the SteelSeries AROX 9 Wireless. My personal recommendation would be to use the Logitech G600. This is what I've been using for years. The thing is built like a tank. I am just a huge fan of Logitech products and their support is awesome. The other one I recommend looking into is Razer Naga Pro because it has a modular macro button side that you can change out from 12 to six keys. However, at the end of the day, anything will work and you should get whatever you can afford and fits your personal preference. All right, so now let's go over my keybinds on my Druid. This has been a pretty big request from you guys in the comments, so I definitely wanted to show you this. So as you know, I use the click add-on, which you can see right here. And I have all my stuff macroed to my MMO mouse. Let's just go over what I have here. Iron Bark here, Nature's Cure, Dispel, Rebirth, Scenarian Ward, Rejuve, Adaptive Swarm, Regoth, Swift Men, and Life Bloom. So what I generally tend to do on all my characters is shift left click is always a damage reduction cooldown whether that's bop iron bark you know things like that shift right click is always a dispel nature's cure what have you control right is always like a battle res lay on hands things of that nature shift middle always a bubble Another big damage reduction cooldown, pain suppression, um, things like that. So here we go into the actual numpad. So you see numpads one, three, four, five, six. These are the buttons on my MMO mouse, and I use my Logitech software to map them to numpads. Basically, it turns the buttons on the mouse to numpads. So Blizzard and WoW see them as numpads. So. If you look here, this is going to be the very first one where my thumb sits most comfortably. This is something that's very easy to get to for me, and something I use a good bit. Um, I swap this back and forth between Life Bloom and Rejuve. I'm still kind of trying to figure out what's best for me, especially in longer gameplay sessions. Uh, Numpad 3, this is the third one here. Um, Adaptive Swarm, another very easy button to get to. Use it a lot. Regrowth. So, right here in Numpad 4, this is. Again, very simple to get to. This is usually always my 
heal uh, on any cast it heal healing wave regrowth flash heal heal whatever cast it heal numpad five is right here in the middle this is always like an instant cast um on my paladin i would use like holy shock or divine toll as you can see see it's swift bend here and then numpad six probably my second most comfortable to get to i have life bloom so this will be used things such as penance, life bloom, uh, renew, very often used abilities. And life bloom is probably my number one usability as a healer with this build. So if you look down here on my action bars, these are my primary abilities I use. Wild growth, efflorescence, cat form, and flourish. It's very easy to reachable. I don't really need to aim wild growth. I can just pop it and it smart heals people. Efflorescence, I use a area target macro. So it, wherever my mouse goes, it casts, see? I don't actually have to aim it. And the way this is done, and I'll link this down below, is this, cast at cursor efflorescence. If you're good at aiming, just pop it down, saves you a click, it's fantastic. Cat form. Again, very easily reachable. I use this constantly. Cat form, pop your stuff. And then if I want to come out of it, just cast ability here and Chad the dad. Thank you again for helping me film this video. And yeah, go from there. Now, if you look here, you'll see on the second row, N1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are also numpad buttons on the same ones as here. Well, you may ask yourself, how do you cast both? Well, unfortunately, click is smart enough to know if you're clicking on somebody, for example, we'll do F1 here, Rejuve, right? F3, Adaptive Swarm, okay? So I'm clicking on the party frame. However, if I click anywhere off the party frame, you'll see, oh look, it used this one because it's targeting an enemy, not clicking on the party frame. Three, Invoke. See what I'm saying? Four, Bark Skin. Cast four over here and Chad. Regrowth. So click smart enough to know what to do, when to do it. This is the beauty of it. So something else I like to do across all my characters, and you'll see a recurring theme with me in these videos, is I always keep everything consistent across all of my characters. I have the same damage reduction kind of stuff on different key binds, the spells, uh, utility, all in the same stuff. So over here, these are very easy to use for me. And the third row is end, down, ED, left, and right. What these are, are shift modifiers of the row below it. So it's just shift and one, shift and two, shift and three, four, five, so on. So as you can see here, I'm gonna shift and two, I'm gonna pop tranquility, which is right here. Shift and three, innervate, can't really cyclone, I guess I can, somebody. Very consistent. It keeps things much easier to remember how to do, especially if you're playing multiple characters. And I hope you really enjoyed this map I have of my mouse on the screen to kind of visually show you what's going on. So yeah, that's my video on MMO mice and kind of what I think about them, what I use, what I recommend, and most importantly, my keybinds on my Druid. I'll see you guys in the next one.